A show of support in our local area as thousands of people are fleeing Ukraine following that Russian invasion. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 5. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Eric Rucker. In tonight for Nikki Lorenzo. Tonight, a group is expected to gather at the Roseville Civic Center. It is the second such event in as many days following a rally at the state capitol on Sunday. Fox 40's Zach Boetta is live in Roseville. And as Zach, you spoke with an event organizer who says they are expecting a pretty big turnout there, correct? Yeah, hey, Eric, there's a bunch of space here at the Roseville Civic Center for people to show up in solidarity with Ukraine. You can see there's a little bit of grass right here if you want to bring the family and set up a blanket. Also, people are already getting set up for the Pray for Ukraine event, which is set to kick off here at the Roseville Civic Center within the next hour and a half at 630. There's already been lots of community support for the Ukrainian people over the last couple of weeks. Just last night, like you mentioned, there was a rally at the Capitol. Supporters there waving Ukrainian flags and holding the anti-war signs. And here tonight, the event organizer says they were originally going to have this Pray for Ukraine event from 6.30 to 8, but extended it to 9 because they had so many people sign up to speak. Father Joshua tells me there will be Ukrainian pastors here speaking in English and in Ukrainian. There will be translators and city council members are expected to show up and there will be some live music too. Overall, he says it's important for the Ukrainian people to feel like they have support. This is a chance for the people of this area to really come together and say, we're here to give you support. Even if we can't directly change what's gonna happen and what's going on overseas right now, we can at least help you walk through that so you don't have to deal with it alone. Coming up at six, we will have more from Father Joshua speaking on what's expected for this event here tonight. And then we will have continuing coverage through the night here on Fox 40 News. And we'll be talking to the community about why they're standing in solidarity with Ukraine. Reporting live from Roseville, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News. All right, Zach, we'll talk to you again at the top of the next hour. Thank you.